Hello and welcome to Makeup by the Wilbergs. Today we're creating this silver fantasy look. We have to say sorry about the quality of this video. We were on tour so we didn't bring all of our lights. But anyway, hope you like it. Okay, so we start by covering the face in Kryolan Supper Color. We usually always use Kryolan for drag makeup since it has a thick coverage and it's really easy to blend. For the nose, we always use this one. It's super small and super cute. I don't remember where we got it, but uh, I think it was a gift from someone. Uh, and it's super nice. It's like a mini grape. We like to take our time while doing the contouring, and this is because it's easier to finish the makeup afterwards if you do have a good base. We have just covered the wet paint with Kryolan's translucent powder and to give the face some soft color we use the Maquillage Blush Bright Coral. Before we start with the darker eyeshadows we want to brighten up all the parts of the face that we want to pop. So we go in with Peggy Sage's eyeshadow Blanc around the eyes, eyebrows and eyelids but also on all the naturally dark parts of the face like underneath the nose and the corner of the mouth. Then we go over the exact same areas with Peggy Sage's eyeshadow Sheer. Okay, the oldest trick in the book. Put some loose powder under the eye before you start putting on the darker eyeshadows, so that any falling eyeshadow is easy to brush off. We start by framing the eye around the area where you later will draw your eyeliner. And this we do with the color Western Sand. We continue framing the eye with a black eyeshadow using a sharp makeup brush and then finishing it off with a thicker brush for a smokier effect. As you can see, the black eyeshadow can read a bit smudgy. Uh, and to blend the color more into a smooth, smoky eye, we go over the black with a softer color. So we're using the same eyeshadow that we started with, the Western Sand, to achieve that effect. To add a bit of shine to the smoky eye, we're going over the black eyeshadow with one of our favorites, the color Granite from Urban Decay's Moondust Collection. After brushing off all the makeup residue, you yet again go in with a white eyeshadow block on the eyelids. Uh, this is just to make the line sharper. Then you're ready to brush off all the loose powder under the eye. To avoid any unibrow effect, you mix blanc and sheer and smoothen out the area between the eyes with a big brush. For this look we're going for black brows and that's usually a nerve-wracking thing to do when you have finished your base. But since we have already traced the brow shape and the contouring, it's really easy to draw them on and we're using Pat McGraw's black eye gloss to do this. This is a silver look we're doing today and we're using one of our all-time favorite products, 
the Silver Cream 005 from Pat McGraw's Metamorphosis collection to give the brows a cool 3D effect. Just brush the color into the beginning of the brow with a sharp makeup brush to achieve a more realistic effect. Now it's finally time to connect all the dots in this makeup. We're doing the eyeliner. Uh, we do love to do a big thick eyeliner and Krylon black watercolor is really great, especially when you mix it with a cell sealer. Just make sure to take your time doing this so the eyeliner comes out razor sharp. Finish the sharpest edges and fine lines with a perfection liner. Uh, today we're using the black dual ended marker from Pat McGraw. The most important thing after doing a thick black eyeliner is to remember to cover it with a black eyeshadow, two times if possible, uh, otherwise the liner can crack in the natural eye crease and uh, no one wants to look like that really. After putting on our maquillage mascara and curling the lashes, it's finally time to put on the false lashes. And we're using a US favorite, the 301s, for our top lashes. For the bottom lashes, we're using the Whiplash Attack from Rockalash. To complete this silver look, we wanted a dramatic lip. So we start by painting the lip with Pat McGraw's black eye gloss using a fine line makeup brush. This color is really thick and works perfectly for lips. Add the silver cream to give the lips an extra dimension of majorness. Now all the details of the makeup is done and it's time for the final touches on the skin. Start by going over the face one last time with a Maquillage Bright Color Blush to just to pick up the warmth in the contouring. And always remember to finish your skin with a really great highlighter. We're using the Iridescent Pink from Pat McGraw's Skin Fetish Collection. <laughs> the makeup is done! It looks amazing. So, I'm just going to put in the contacts, white contacts, and then I'm going to put on the wig. A grey wig that my husband made for me. And then I'm going to jump into the clothes that I made. Okay, see you in a bit. So, the contacts are in. And I'm wearing my new wig. And this couture that we made. So, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.